Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, I'm gonna do my match reactions for the Euros. Once again, guys, I've been I'm very sorry. The match reactions come out very late. I was I'm, I was traveling during the time the game was taking place, and I got back home, uh, but, uh pretty much when the Uruguay Panama game started. So I wanted to wait for that game to finish before I even do the Euro games because I was watching that game. So, anyways, uh, let's talk about the, these two games for Group A. So we got Scotland nil, Hungary one. Scotland, man, it's time for us to have a dissertation on Scotland. Because what Scotland did was unacceptable. Unacceptable. Let me just show you guys the stats right here. Scotland had four shots, none on target, in this game. 58% possession. Scotland, this is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Because, let's be real here, guys. Scotland coming into this game were in the driving seat. They knew that if they had won this game, they would be in the round of 16. It doesn't even matter about GED or any of that because they would have been on four points. Hungary, on the other hand, will come into this game with zero points. Hungary needed this win. Uh, Hungary needed this win. You know, it was a must win for both teams. But Scotland, it would have been more beneficial for Scotland because Hungary, the issue for them is now their GD. Is their GD going to be enough for them to be one of the best third place teams? We'll have to fight on Wednesday. So that's the issue. For Scotland in particular, man, they were just abysmal. Four shots. None on target. And if you actually look at the game itself, they had no shots that first half. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Hungary is a much better team. Hungary had five shots, one target. Shobozai had a big chance to score there right before half time. He should have scored there, man. Uh, then obviously in the second half, man, Cusa both. He hit the woodwork, I believe, uh, before he scored. A big, big chance. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys right here. Uh, yeah, 92nd minute, and then he scores a late winner. Fantastic, fantastic. And for Hungary, as I said, man, they got the win that they needed. That's a lie there with the assist. But my goodness me, man. I hope Varga's okay. I did hear Varga is fine, so it's good to hear. Um, he's one of their most important players. And for Scotland, as I said, man, this, this is embarrassing. Because the fact they have never advanced from a group stage ever in their history is quite shocking. It's quite shocking. For a country with this with this amount of with the amount of history they have, right? So, for Scotland in particular, man, it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And for me, it's a failure. It's an absolute failure. As for Hungary, this is a fantastic for them. They have now, they may be one of the best third place teams in the round of 16. Whether there will be or not remains to be seen. And you got to give credit to Hungary because I called them out after the game against Germany. But, you know, honestly, guys, I feel like they did okay in the group. The only thing I'll say is that the goal difference should be better. It shouldn't be a minus three. But I think. Three points isn't as bad, you know, because Switzerland is still a good team, which we'll get onto a bit later. And yeah, I just think for Hungary, as I said, man, they, they have to improve the defense. I think that's my big concern for Hungary is that defensively, Hungary looks very, very sketchy, very sketchy. Their attack is also very eh as well. So yeah, man, for Hungary, man, congrats to them. They may be one of the best third place teams. And for Scotland, man, embarrassing, man, embarrassing. Embarrassing. So, let's move to the next game we got here. It is Switzerland 1, Germany 1. Switzerland, man. They took the early lead in this game. I just thought about the uh, the first goal. So, the first goal was disallowed because there was a foul. I, be it was, I believe it was offside, if I remember correctly. There was actually, no, there was a foul. There was a foul. So, Andrew scored. And then, no joy, man. Great, great assist for Broiler. And that first half, man, Germany, man. They were looking a bit poor, man. You know, and... Let's be real, guys. Is this the first game that you would guys say Germany got challenged in this group? Because Switzerland were defensively good that first half. And sure, they kind of the goal they kind of scored was against run of play. But Germany, man, were just missing so many chances. Rudiger, man. Havertz, man. I'm sorry. Havertz had, had a stinker, man. Havertz had a stinker. The amount of shots Havertz has was crazy. He had a stinker. And then the second half, man. Um, Switzerland had some great efforts there. There, Germany were obviously desperate for that goal there at the end. They were pushing, pushing, and obviously, uh, Sommer made some big saves, and uh, Germany hit the woodwork. Havertz was missing so many chances. 68th, 50th minute, Gundogan there, 64th minute, Cruz there, 55th minute, Rom, and yeah, Germany was just struggling. Germany was struggling, and Switzerland had some great opportunities. Obviously, Jacques had a great effort there from distance. 88th minute, big, big save from Neuer. And then Duya there. And yeah, you could tell Switzerland were being very defensive in the second half. And then, you know, Germany got the goal there. Fulcro comes off the bench, scores a goal. 
um, comes off the bench. They 76 minute got the goal there. Rom also got the assist there at the 61st minute. And yeah, you could tell that Cruz, Wurtz and Musiela, they weren't really that great in this game. Um, Cruz didn't really have that great of a game. I, I think Cruz was actually the fault for the, the reason why uh, Switzerland actually got the goal because he actually made a misplaced pass. And I think Switzerland were able to go in the counter attack and score that goal. But yeah, for Germany, as I said, man, very, very concerning in this kind of game. I thought Rudiger and Ta were very unimpressive. And Neuer, man, Neuer is beast mode. I mean, Neuer is just clutch. The amount of saves Neuer did in this game was crazy because that save the 80th minute is match winning save. Because if Neuer doesn't make the save when they're t- because that would have been 2 0, and at that point, I don't think Germany would have scored two goals. And for Switzerland, man, they're tough to beat. And I think that's the thing with the Switzerland team is that this is not a team you don't want to. This is a team that's very difficult to beat. Even Switzerland at the worst is a hard team to beat because Switzerland, as I said, they played well. Although Nodio was great, and Bolo was great for the Abi was great as well. Jacques was also great as well. I I just think for Switzerland, man, it's 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 gonna be very interesting to see how they do the round of sixteen because I believe on the round of sixteen they'll be playing against a Group B runner up, which that uh, they could they could fancy their chances because none of the Group B runners up besides Spain I've been truly convinced with. So that's a favorable matchup for Switzerland. Whereas for Germany, they're gonna be playing against a group. Uh, they're gonna be playing against a group uh, third place team and. They should be able to take care of the third place team. But yeah, man, it's so very interesting. And Full Crook, man, the big takeaway here is that Full Crook has to start. Havertz cannot start up top. And I think for Germany, this is a good reality check for them. Because let's be real, guys. Hungary and Scotland didn't give them this amount of challenge. Switzerland gave them the toughest challenge. Switzerland tested how good their attack is, tested how good their defense is. And Germany had to come in deep and score a late goal. So for Germany, as I said, they could still win the Euros. But they had to the grant ground through. And I think this is good for Germany to get a wake-up call before they head into knockouts. And for Switzerland, great result for them. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this quick little concise review. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, of course. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.